Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me! This is the car, this is the track, and this is a mailbox getting fucked. <laughs> I love that video. We are starting at the very back of the grid. This is a multi-class race. We are in the MX-5 Global Cup. There we are, and car number 14. Uh, remember that number, because he'll play a role later. A lot of Miatas ahead of us, a lot of trucks, and then ahead of the trucks, there's actually NASCAR, like um, NASCARs as well. So we have a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. Starting in the very back, the formation lap, man, it was so fast, I could barely keep up with them. Like these guys at the front, they pulled away so fast. In the formation lap, uh, but it's, it's supposed to be 20 laps, but for the Miatas, it's more it's more around 15 laps total. And as you can probably guess with this combination, this slow, very slow MX-5s and these insanely fast cars, there's going to be a shit ton of carnage. You also throw in the fact that it's week 13, and a lot of people just don't give a fuck about what's going on, and it just makes it even worse. So the flag has gone green. We are currently at the very back of the grid. It says 0.0, .0 the interval to everybody. My race labs, it, it starts working later. I don't know why it's not working right now. But we are at the very back of the Miatas. Um, already, you can see the cars at the front starting to pull away. They will pretty soon catch back up to us from behind. We are just kind of hanging on here. We are in the slipstream, so I'm not really worried about it. There, anything can happen in Oval. We've got car number three at the front, this guy behind him, and then there are two by two behind him. So everybody's kind of starting to find their place in this group. I am still trying to make my way up to the group. And with these cars on this track, the slipstream is so ridiculous. You can see just how quickly I'm pulling up to these guys. I don't really have anywhere to go, so I'm kind of forced to lift and slow down a little bit and just kind of put myself inside of this group. A little bit of wiggling going on ahead. Car number three just runs into car number two, sends him flying to the right side, and I am barely able to make it through there. Now, although I did survive, uh, here's my view of that. Although I do survive this, I just barely don't get clipped by that guy. I massively fall off of the group. You can see within just about a second, they are, they are probably about two or three seconds up the road from me. And that is, that is really, really bad. If I don't have the slipstream, they all have that slipstream. There is almost nothing I can do. So end of lap number two, and they're still all up there together in their little group. Car number one, looking to go three wide, starts a pendulum that comes back and kills him, sends him into the wall. He loses his bumper, and we will soon pass by that bumper, and then not long after. Oh, I almost died to these guys. I forgot these guys were coming up on me. Thankfully, though, we stay on the track. We also pick up this position from the guy who has no bumper, and then there's another guy. That one, that's one of the guys who wrecked earlier. So we are now up into P5, and some chaos is about to ensue. Two by two up ahead, the Miatas. One of them pulls onto the apron. These guys up high just can't get out of the way. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is like... I mean, he's totally fucked. All the way up against the wall, gets sent up on top of it, does a flip, blows his engine mid-air, loses his bumper, and not long after that, here I come chugging along. Another truck as well, so find my way through all of this chaos, gaining two positions, so now up into P3, a podium position already <laughs> on, um, I think this is lap three, so just barely into the race. We've got, I mean, we're not even a fifth of the way through the race, and we are up into P3. However, we are still super far off of P1 and P2, and it looks like they are actually close enough so that they will be able to bump draft and yeah that was a sad realization for me there really was not much of anything that i could do here until welcome to the party the biggest most badass i mean most biased um <laughs> driver truck driver on the grid car number 14 Dustin Christian is the name, and helping out a YouTuber is his game, apparently, because on lap six, here he comes behind us, flying up behind us, and I see him in my rear view, and he slows down, and I'm like, oh shit, and then he speeds up, so not actually going to help us. That is until lap number nine, when he comes back around, and this time he slows down, and he actually is going to give us some draft. So this was unexpected, but much welcome. I'm not gonna lie, I was asking for help on the mic as well uh, during this race. I really had no chance otherwise to catch these guys. So he does he does uh, show me some love and really give me quite a lot of speed. You can see the gap to Josh up ahead, four seconds at the moment. That's the next car in my class. And I'm absolutely getting blasted from this guy from behind, but it's okay, I can take it. I'm trying to keep my car in a straight line. By the time lap number 
number 11 comes around, we are 2.4 seconds off of Jonathan, who is the leader in our class, and we have a massive speed difference to these guys. We are absolutely hauling ass flying up to them. They're still one by one. They're kind of pushing each other down the straight, and I'm sure they see this in their rear view. And yeah, I mean, there's not really anything they can do. We're down to one second from the leader at this point, and with this type of speed, I mean, we should probably be on him before this lap even ends. Coming around the uh, second turn of the lap, the final turn, we're gonna tuck to the outside. Dustin's still behind us, absolutely sailing past these guys and um, taking the lead of the Miata class as we cross onto lap number 12. So pretty ecstatic about that, and I wasn't expecting him to stay. I thought he would just kind of leave me with these guys, and he actually does. But then as he backs off, he tries to, I think he's trying to like block car number three and car number three is having none of it. So as a Miata, <laughs> I don't know what, I guess he did, he, he's trying to take him out. I was, I mean, there's no way that ended well for this guy, car number three. Your car's got to be like half of, maybe probably less than half the weight of that car. Maybe even more than that. I don't know. Anyways, we are now in a group of two at the front, car number one and myself. So this has turned into a two-horse race. We only have, I think we have three laps left at this point, and uh, I am currently in the lead. So hopefully, I mean, I can maintain, I can try and maintain this speed. His really only hope is to back off and then kind of really get a slingshot, which he does start to create some space between myself and him. And um, I was hoping that maybe he would do that and then end up keeping himself so far back that he didn't actually have enough time to make the slingshot work. This is lap number 14, so the penultimate lap, and the cars are coming up on us again, the trucks. He moves to the apron right as the camber starts, which proves to be an almost fatal move as he loses a ton of speed. I get all of that mechanical grip while he gets none of it, especially for the start of that corner, and that's really going to shoot him in the foot. He drops back by maybe, I don't know, two or three tenths. And at this point, I'm realizing that might be what he tries to do to get ahead of me, ride down to the apron. However, here comes um, something that's going to change the situation a bit. Dustin is back up to us. And why do people keep trying to take out a truck as a Miata? I mean, he was, these, these guys were definitely pissed at Dustin, but a bold, bold move right there to uh, attempt to take out the NASCAR truck as a Miata. I now have no competition left. Surely there is nothing that can stop me from winning this race. I'm in P1. I think the closest car behind me is probably like two laps back. It's the final lap. I shouldn't really have an issue here. And Dustin is back on his way doing his own thing. But I my, my fuel is at 15%, but my car is stuttering super heavily up ahead of me. This is... Um, this is P9 in the truck race, and the guy he just took out, car number 9, was P1. So that was a lapped truck taking out the leader. However, I'm not able to focus because of the sadness that I'm realizing I won't be able to make it around the rest of this lap. Until, Mr. Dustin, I don't have enough word. I mean, honestly, if I was any of the other Miatas, I would be pissed. But I'm not. And man, oh man, um... <laughs> Like the end of cars, man, or the beginning of car, the end. I don't. If it's either the, I think it's the, I think it's the end of cars. I mean, I might not be the king, but I'm getting some, uh, I'm getting some royal treatment right here. Also, shout out not only to Dustin, but to uh, the quality of the rear bumper of these Miatas, because it is taking the the back shots right now. To whoever needs to hear this, you can do literally whatever you want to do. When when hope seems gone, when you are way off of the pack, when you are miles off of the pack. You, you don't have the momentum. Don't give up because you don't lose. You can't lose until you... Bro, I'm literally going to lose my fucking mind. Shut the... F dude, this... F so... Wait, nobody celebrates a NASCAR like last place does. Anyway, I get stuck here. I, I've got no fuel and I'm forced to watch Dustin like a... Like when a church band goes to the retirement home. Against my will. Here are the results. An overall win for Thad Countryman. And with a name like that, I feel like it's probably harder to lose in NASCAR. I did come across first in class, baby. Pretty excited about that one. Finally caught a dub in week 13. And with zero incidents. Only person to have zero incidents in this race. Pretty, pretty wild. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to support me, please check out my channel and some of my other videos. It helps me so much. And I will see you next time.